Hello, welcome to this Microsoft Excel Fundamentals tutorial. Today I will show you how to freeze rows and columns. When you lay out your data in rows and columns, it is most likely that your headings end up at the top or to the left of your data. And you won't be able to see all the of the figures on the screen at once. And when you scroll down to particular cell, the headings row also scroll out of view. Or when you scroll across like this, the heading column is out of view. This problem can be resolved by freezing the rows and or columns that hold the heading. Now click in cell B5 to select the cell. Then on View tab select Freeze Panes in the Window group. There are three options. In the drop-down menu, the first one thin back lines appear above and to the left of the selected cell. This indicated that the areas above and to the left are frozen. Now select the third one, Free First Column, option. Then scroll across, now as you can see the first column is now freezing. Now if you don't want to freeze the first column anymore, you could click on freeze panes in the freeze window group and then click on unfreeze panes. Now let's select the second option, freeze top row, then try to scroll down. As you can see, the first row is now freezing. If you also don't want to freeze the first row, just click on the freeze panes and then select unfreeze pan option. Notice that B5 is still the active cell, let's select the first option freeze pan, then try to scroll down. And then try to scroll across, as you can see the row 4 and column A are both freezing. Let's unfreeze row 4 and column A, then click on cell C5 to make it active cell. Select Freeze Panes option again. Now the freezing row is still row 1, but the freezing column is column B, it's not column A anymore. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.